Could you give us some insight as to how you prepare for some really difficult roles? The snake pit is, a, is an unbelievable challenge. Uh, how did you prepare yourself for that kind of role? Well, I, I, I went first to the psychiatric ward of Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and had the tremendous good luck of meeting a young woman about the age of Mary Jane. Uh, I've forgotten her last name. Mary Jane something, who wrote the book. It was autobiographical. Yes. And uh, it, she was suffering from guilt, and she was in a schizophrenic state. It was Mary Jane Ward, wasn't it? That's Mr. the one. That's it, Mary yes. Jane Ward. That's right. Uh, it was a remarkable thing, a stroke of luck, to have met this young woman because she had developed a relationship with her psychiatrist, which was like the one that Virginia Cunningham develops with Dr. Kick, that one of trust and affection. Yes. And uh, so I saw that. I also saw something quite interesting. She had a sort of charm about her. And she had humor. And of course, it had never occurred to me that a person so very ill could have, and schizophrenic, could have those two qualities. But there they were, embodied in this young woman. They were also in the script. And so I knew about them uh, before the finished script came along. I also went to a psychiatric, uh, yes, well, you know, mental institution, which was run by the state near Santa Barbara. Was it Carpinteria? Could have been. It began with C. Yes, right? yes. Cabrillo or someplace like that. And so every phase of Virginia's treatment uh, conducted right there, you know, as part of a hospital curriculum. There was uh, shock. I saw shock. I saw this young woman held down by five other patients. You have to hold them, you see, at certain places on their bodies, their shoulders, the knees and the ankles, and, and the, also the trunk. But because the body leaves the table, it rises about, oh, inches, a foot. And it could go smack off the table, and the person could break their bones, you see. Hmm. So they have to be held. And, uh, but it, it was rather a good idea to have the other patients doing that in a caring way. Yes. Because it, it, it sort of took the fear away of fear of this drastic method. Otherwise, if the person were in restraint, you see, that wouldn't have done either. You needed some uh, kind of a supple restraint. Yes. And the, these human hands were, uh, were that. Um, anyway, I saw that. I saw her recovering later, too, from shock. I saw hydrotherapy. I went to uh, one of these big meetings of... Uh, of the doctors, uh, where they question a patient who has been put up for a home leave, as it were, and they want to be certain that the patient is equal to that experience of leaving the institution and being restored to their families for a brief time, or even being discharged from the hospital, too. Yes. And I saw that. Uh, it was a remarkable experience. I saw violent patients. I saw them, you know, through the window of their cells, and I also saw some of them uh, filled with violent energy, uh, very cleverly, uh, 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 sort of, uh, well, they weren't strapped to them, but they were somehow kind uh, of... Uh, connected by, by, by straps of some sort to uh, these polished
polishing mechanisms that polish floors. Yes. And so they could shove those around, you see, in their energetic way. And uh, that was that have a function and not be dangerous, and yet somehow or rather express their emotions in a constructive fashion. Hmm. That was interesting. What an experience that was. Mm -hmm. I went to a dance, too, and we saw that, which is featured in the film. Yes, I remember it. Also wrote, read a marvelous book called The Psychology of Insanity by a man called Bernard Hart. It was published, I think, in 1910 or 12, quite early on, but was considered a classic work, not very long, a book, uh, and I read that. That was, that was full of insight. Yes, yes. Hmm. So, so you really experienced the varying stages of the mental breakdown and then the full recovery, or the recovery period? Yes, I witnessed, I actually witnessed that. You witnessed that? Mm. Hmm. Boy. That's what you call preparing for a role. Yes. <laughs> Boy, that is something. Hmm.